right guys well it's october 27th i just got down to the farm that i helped manage uh, right now the task is we're going to go move a couple of cameras probably only one but the goal that i have to accomplish is to hopefully find back a couple of bucks that we had during the summer one specifically being the bean buck he's showing up sporadically um, on a spot that we call the pot plot if you guys remember back in 2018 landowner lee shot a giant buck in that spot that was that buck's core area but this buck that we're talking about the bean buck got a shed off of him got a ton of summer photos of him when we had all the guys down during the summer grant actually filmed him from these beans and then he's been like i said sporadically popping up on this scrape so we know he's somewhere in the area i have a suspicion that he has moved further down towards his bottom and uh, i'm going to try to get a couple cameras in place to hopefully pick him back up lee and his buddy tim are going to be up to hunt for the next week myself and aubrey who's behind the camera we are going to be running cameras for them and uh, this is a week that i've been looking forward to all in summer all the off season and i'm excited to see what it brings but we're gonna go knock that out and then i'll kind of give you guys an update on what i've been doing uh, over the last month and what you can expect to see in the next coming weeks so it's almost November, uh, it's time we live for, and hopefully we can find this bug back here soon. Another doe right there. See, the other thing is, dude, I... Whoa, good buck. Is that him? Hold on. Come here, come here. Dude, that was a giant. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not even making that up. That was him. Close? He was like 15 yards right there. <laughs> well, we just saw two does. We're talking to Aubrey. Good buck, right? I mean, 20 yards. This is this is the farm. The pot plot's probably 250, 300 yards that way. And this is just all that thick cover that these deer like to stay in. We don't have any cameras in there, but mm, man, that was him for sure. Daylight Walker, too. Gosh, why didn't I not have this in my hands? I'm telling you, man, this next this next week, guys, for somebody like me, you know, my occupation where I love to film just as much as I love to hunt. You know, I always mention it over and over, the opportunity to get to help with this place and you know achieve a dream that way growing up on a farm where we weren't able to do anything you know really to it this place is awesome and i'm really excited to see if all that pays off so a lot of good deer running around the farm and uh it's gonna be a fun week that's for sure We had a failed mock scrape right here, unfortunately. We tried making this one right there. Camera's right to the right Aubrey. And the stand is about 20 yards behind the camera. Right in front of the stand, there is two scrapes opened up. So we are gonna just move the camera right there. And hopefully there's just been more activity in this spot than we originally think. Can't always judge about the camera, but more important, we're just trying to see if there's any mature box using this. It's a great stand to sneak into. I don't know if Lee's actually ever hunted it or not, but we're just gonna move it up here and see what we get. Right? Yeah. All right. Well, um, Brad just killed Millie. That's that really big deer that we. Uh... <laughs> I'll drive. Actually, might have to have you do that so I can edit. Yeah. Saw so we changed that camera earlier. We've seen a bunch of really good deer from the road, and we we're gonna go on the north side of the farm with the spotting scope. And literally as we were getting set up on the road to see the south side of the farm, Brad just called me 
Uh, as you guys know, we had the lease together, and we had the one really big deer, Millie. Uh, um, he killed him. So we got about a two-hour drive we're going to make. Tonight I do have a show to do, uh, one of our regional shows, but I'm just going to do that on the way. Aubrey's going to drive, and, uh, you know, this is time of year. This is why we love it. Um, super, super happy for Brad. It's his biggest deer ever, and I wouldn't miss it for the world. So we're going to get on the road, and uh, we're going to go see this boss and buck that Brad just put on the ground. All right, well, we just pulled up to the farm, and I can see the guys over here getting pictures. Looks like we got a giant buck on the ground, and I cannot wait to go see him up close and personal and give Brad a congratulations. So let's go over. Don't want to waste any more time. Oh, oh my gosh, dude. Cool. You came dude. in with that other eight-pointer, that bigger eight. Freaking rattled, he came straight to us. And you bought that decoy today, right? Yeah, I bought the decoy today. I had it for like two hours. <laughs> you take it back, huh? <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, he came in just like 35 well, yards. I mean, not that I want to hear about it. You might as well just No, yeah. Them. Came in yeah. 35 yards and just froze at my decoy. I rattled, came straight in, just locked up for like a minute. I had time to range him, spin my sight, put my range finder back in my pocket, and then shoot. And the best part is, uh, Jonah, who was with me, there was another buck he was trying to shoot, so he ran off and died. And I'm like ranging the other deer. I'm like, he's at 50. And so, like, Millie's dead over here, but we're still in the action. I'm like, dude, he's dead. I'm like, we just killed him. Yeah, I mean, there's not much else to say than that other than, you know, this summer when we got this piece, we were both just talking about how awesome it was, you know, we mentioned, to finally get permission on a private piece of ground. You know, Brad and I have focused on public land the last few years, and uh, he approached me with the idea of getting a place together. And, uh, you know, I didn't get to hunt it. But that being said, you know, it was always every single night this guy was the topic of conversation in the household. And uh, I couldn't be happy for you, man. I mean, like, truly. I, <laughs> we got on the road, we're here, and uh, congratulations. Thanks, bud. All right, well, it's the next morning, guys. We just finished up our work overnight, got that regional show done, Outreach Outdoors, and then uh, got this daily video blog posted. So. Exciting times, you know, congrats again to Brad on this biggest buck ever. Millie was awesome. Thanks for letting us come see him, man. And I uh, just wanted to kind of close this out formally. Uh, next time you guys are going to see us, we're going to be in the tree with Lee and Tim. Uh, just waiting on their arrival. And as I mentioned yesterday, we've got some really good deer to chase on this farm. A lot of work's been going into this place this year. And uh, very excited to hopefully bring you guys a couple more awesome stories with some good bucks. So. Appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully you've had a chance to get out yourself. I know I'm very, very excited to get back into a tree stand and uh, we'll see you guys here next time.